So, so any male that comes that grows up in this ministry will own homes, homes, yeah. businesses. Yeah. Yeah. The anointing on their lives. Yeah. That's what we raise in here. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. But there are influences, influences that wants to destroy that. Yeah. You see, God gave us this property. So I can see it with my own eyes. I can see it every day. I walk these grounds. I see what God is showing me in the spirit realm. I see it in the physical realm on this property. Well, y'all gonna find out in a minute. Y'all gonna find out in a minute. Um, let's go to the word. Let's go to the word of God. I received something. Um, from the death of David Sorello. I'm in partnership with David Sorello because that's where we came from. My bishop, at 16 years old, his mother gave him to Lawrence Sorello, one of the most anointed men on the earth today. Yeah. You understand? So at 16 years old, my bishop traveled with Morris Sorello all over the world his job was to set up sound and stuff like that for millions of people. He drove the diesel trucks and my bishop has more Sorello's anointing on his life that was transferred to my life that's, trans that's being transferred to you all's lives. You understand? So now his son has taken over the ministry and taking it to a whole nother level. Amen. So I partnered with them. And I got this. Then this was very encouraging to me. And it was so timely. Because um, in this title, The Purpose of Testing. What is man that thou shouldest visit him every morning? Read, read that first one. Read it. Job 7 and 17 through 18. Mm -hmm. What is man that thou shouldest magnify him, mm -hmm. and that thou shouldest set thine heart upon him. Listen to this, listen to this. This is you, Kate. And this that. is you. They're asking, what is Kate? When they say man, I mean you too, so pay attention. What is Kate? You understand? Yes. All right. So go ahead, preacher. What is man? That thou shouldest magnify him. What is Cain? And that thou shouldest set. Well, why does God want to magnify Cain? Why does God want to magnify Janice? Amen. Why does God want to magnify Christina? Amen. Go ahead, preacher. Yes. And that thou shouldest set thine heart upon him. And you set your heart on him. And that thou shouldest visit him every morning. Why you visit Joaquin every morning? Amen. And try him every moment. And try him every moment. You know what try means? To test. God thinks about you. You on his heart every moment. Amen. And then he tests you every morning. Amen. He's on you. He's a, you on his heart. Amen. And then he tests you every. See, some of y'all going through testing right now, and you don't even understand why. Amen. See, you're going through testing right now. Amen. See, but this is what you must understand when you're going through testing. Yes. You see, let me give you the definition. Hold on, for the word testing. To test. <coughs> to test is to Take measure and check the quality of a thing. The performance or the reliability of something. Especially before putting it into widespread use or practice. See, before you go into widespread use all over the world, use where God can use you widespread all yes. over the world, yes. you have to be tested Amen. for reliability, yes. 
for responsibility, all those things, you have to be tested. Amen. Amen. Jewelers don't test tin. They test gold. They don't test copper. They don't test brass. They test gold. And then they stamp it with a seal. 10 carat, 14 carat, 18 carat, 24 carat. Diamonds are tested for quality. They don't test pebbles out there. They test diamonds yes. and gold yes. is tried and tested. Mm -hmm. So those of you that's going through a test right now, going through tribulations, I don't understand this. Yes. It's because God is getting ready to use you yes. for widespread yes. use. Yes. But you got to be tested yes. first. Yes. You got to be tried first. Yes. So we don't make him look bad. You have to be tested and tried. Check the quality for performance, reliability, and quality. That's why you're being tested. You understand? Look at Job 1 and 8. We're in the book of Job because God allowed him to be tested. You see? Before the test came, God was already bragging on it. Before his testing came, God was already bragging on Job. Read, read that, Job 1 and 8. And the Lord said unto Satan, To Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth? None like him. God is saying, have you considered Alexis? There's none like her on the earth. There's none like her. I made her just for me. Amen. Everything she is, everything that's, that makes her up, I made her for me. Have you considered? You understand? Go ahead, preacher. A perfect and an upright man, one that feareth God and escheweth evil. Escheweth evil. It stays away from evil. Now he said perfect. Perfect don't mean it perfect in the sense that we think Jesus was the only perfect man. Amen. Perfect Amen. means mature. He's been through some testing. Blindness. You understand? Yes. Mature. That's what perfect means for us. Yeah. But we strive towards perfection. It's yeah. a constant, daily yeah. Yeah. striving yeah. towards yeah. perfection. Yeah. Yeah. That's our yeah. job. Yeah. Did you finish that preaching? Yes. Have you considered God is bragging on you the reason you're going through testing right now? Because God is bragging on you. But remember I told you, that there are some elements that don't want to see you get that stamp yes. of approval. Amen. They don't want to see you get that stamp, 10 carry, 14, try. Yes. Yes. You understand that? Yes. Yes. Read Job 23 and 10. It finally dawned on him after he went through all kind of hell. I mean, this man, y'all know the story of Job? He lost everything. He was one of the richest men on the planet. He had children. All his children had homes and businesses. He had servants and camels and, and, and all just assets. Good Lord. Satan took them all. He went through some show enough testing. See, your test comes for this reason. God allows it because he knows the outcome. Yeah. He has confidence. If, God is, if you're going through a test, God has confidence in you that you're going to pass the test. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yes. 
He has confidence in you. So he allows Satan to test you. Satan said, the only reason Job serves you is because you blessed him. That's the only reason. Take that hedge that you have around him. See, God got a hedge about you. Yeah. Take that hedge down yeah. and let me have him. And I bet he will curse you to your face. That's what Satan told God about Job. That's what Satan told God about you. If you're going through a test. Amen. If you're going through some tests yes. right now. Yes. So it finally dawned on Job, after he went through these tests, in the 23rd chapter, what did it say, preacher? But he knoweth the way that I take. When he hath tried me, I shall come forth as gold. When I'm tried, he finally figured it out. I'm going through this testing because I'm coming forth like pure gold. Amen. Gold got to be burnt up. It's got to go through some fire. Yes. It's hard, but you yes. got to take it out the rocks. Yes. You got to take it out the earth. Yes. You got to yes. boil it. You got to yes. bring it to temperatures where it's yes. boiling yes. so you can get all the impurities yes. out. So yes. you can get all the, and, and, yes. and the amount of impurities that come out, that's yes. the carriage that's still going. Yes. Whether it's 10, oh, whether it's 14, yes. whether it's 18, yes. whether it's 24. You in the fire right now because yes. God is getting all the impurities oh, out of you. Yes. So you can Hard 
for some women to submit. And that goes way back to history, 400 years ago, slavery and all that. If we've done a series on that, was titled, Baby, It's Not Your Fault. It's not your fault. You understand? Yes. But in this ministry, real men are coming here. Yes. They don't want to be taken care of. They don't want to be a mama no more. Right. They don't want a second mama. They yes. want a real woman. Yes. Because I want to be a real man. Yes. When I was a child, I thought it was a child. Yes. I was a child. Yes. I understood it was a child. Yes. But now that I've become a man, yes. I want to put away childish yes. things. I want to take my rightful yes. place and be the head. King the priest and the provider of my home, and I don't need another mama. That's what me and are telling me in this ministry. So a lot of us would no recognize a real man because we ain't really seen one. Ain't never seen one. 70 what? 4%? So, that Jezebel spirit has got to die. Jezebel has got to die. Because it's destroying the whole fabric of our people. That Jezebel spirit. What is a Jezebel spirit? One they want to control and run things. Yes. And then when they see a real man of God, they yes. challenge you. Yes. They challenge everything he says. Yes. When they see a real man, they want to yes. challenge you. Yes. Be confrontational. Yes. And then when they figure out they can't control him, guess what they want to do next? They want to kill him. They want to assassinate his character. Yes. They want to kill him even physically. Uh -huh. They can't assassinate his character. They want to kill him physically. Uh -huh. yes. Yes. Teach on, God sent men of God to Jezebel to tell her, baby, you wrong. Yes. You out of line. You yes. out of order. Yes. And if yes. you don't get yourself right, oh, yes. something real bad is going to happen yes. to you. Yes. All y'all is putting your mouths on preachers out there yes. and talking about preachers oh, and wanting yes. to shoot every preacher oh, that you go to church with. Every church you need to want to shoot a preacher. Amen. God is trying to warn you. Yes. Jezebel. Yes. 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 Jehu was a real man of God. Elisha tried to help her, tried to show her that his God was real. So they had a contest, y'all know the story. And, and, and Elijah called fire down from heaven that burned water, dust, the sacrifice, and showed them all that his God was the true and work really uh, the true God. And Jezebel's God was false. Jezebel had the man of God worshiping Baal. Worshiping false gods. She took control of this man and had the king of Israel worshiping Satan. It's happening today. Worship the king of Israel worshiping Satan. That Jezebel spirit had you doing all kinds of stupid stuff. So she didn't listen to Elijah. So here God sends another preacher to her, another man of God to her. She sees him coming, and this is what she does. Go ahead, preacher. 2 Kings 9 and 30. And when Jehu was come to Jezreel, Jezebel heard of it. And she painted her face and tied her head and looked out a window. And as Jehu entered in at the gate, she said, Had it Zimri peace, who slew his master? Now here she see the man of God coming. 
She knows she can't control it. Right. You understand? So now she's going to accuse and try to assassinate his character. Uh -huh. Look, look at you coming up here. Ain't you the one that killed your master? Uh -huh. Yeah, he was supposed to die. He was wicked. Yes. That's what they yes. did back then. Yes. Uh -huh. Go ahead, preach it. And he lift up his face to the window and said, Who is on my side? Who? And there looked out to him two or three eunuchs. Eunuchs, yeah. Eunuchs are, are guards in the palace that, that don't have their genitals working correctly because all they do is serve and take care of the king and the queen and all that, and they don't, you understand, yeah. they bodyguards. So, he looked up to the window of this woman's palace, mm -hmm. and he asked her security, he asked her security, who's with me? Mm -hmm. and, and then go ahead and preach it, what happened? And he said, throw her down. So they threw her down. The units, her bodyguards. Yeah. Her bodyguards. See, everybody ain't stupid. Some folks got a whole bunch of sense. Amen. But some of y'all gonna wind up just like Jezebel wow. is running with Jezebel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Jezebel, not just women. Men have Jezebel spirits yes. too. Yeah. Yeah. Teach pastor. Oh, yes. So her security guards yes. grabbed her. All the people you think with you, not with you, Amen. but they're using you. Amen. Yes. Go ahead, preacher. So they threw her down, and some of her blood was sprinkled on the wall. They threw her out of her own window in the palace. She hit the ground so hard that her blood splattered all over the palace walls to the point where it spooked the horses. The blood splattered everywhere. Jehu was in a chariot with horses. And her blood splattered all against the wall of the palace. And what happened? And on the horses. And he trode her underfoot. When her blood hit that ground, and splattered on the wall and on the horses. The horses got spooked and just stomped her to death. Just trotted all over her. Yes, uh, <laughs> just stomped her just all over. Yes. And then what happened, preacher? And when he was come in, he did eat and drink and said, Go see now this cursed woman and bury her, for she is a king's daughter. Because she was the daughter of a king, he didn't just let her lay out there. He right, yes. said, go bury her. Yeah. After you ate and drank first, she was out relax now. Now go bury her, etc. Mm -hmm. wow. yes. Because she's a king's daughter. Yes. Not because of her. Right. And then what happened recently? And they went to bury her. But they found no more of her than the skull and the feet and the palms of her hands. Was that it? Go ahead. Wherefore they came again and told him, and he said, This is the word of the Lord, which he spake by his servant Elijah the Tishbite, mm -hmm. saying, In the portion of Jezreel shall dogs eat the flesh of Jezebel. And the carcass of Jezebel shall be as dung upon the face of the field in the portion of Jezreel, so that they shall not say, This is Jezebel. Wow. God is trying to help somebody. In 1 Kings 21 and 19, Elijah tried to warn this woman. She wouldn't take heed, he wanted to kill him. 1 Kings 21 and 19 is when you pronounce her doom. That Jezebel spirit going to die yes. up here. Amen. It's going to die up here. Yes. Amen. We're going to have deliverance service today. 
And that Jezebel spirit is going to die in here. Amen. Amen. And before we do that, we're going to take a little field trip. Remember I told you God loves us so much. He don't just give us the word. He shows us the word. Amen. He shows us the word. Y'all won't see a symbol of Jezebel in a moment. Y'all will get to see it with your own eyes, a symbol of Jezebel. I walk these grounds every morning praising God, worshiping God for hours. Because I see his handiworks everywhere. <clears throat> Romans 1 and 20 said, man is without excuse you to see God all in nature. His nature speaks to me every day. I see his nature. I'm out there watering and watching stuff just Amen. blossoming. Yes. God's beauty and his magnificence. Yes. I see it every day. And then he allows me to see in the spirit realm all these little ground squirrels that eat up this stuff from the bottom. It's symbolic of what Satan is doing in the spirit realm yes. in the church. Yes. And then you got the ones that come in and yes. they eat it up from the top. Yes. Those are the ones that come in your ministry yes. and yes. eat away at your people yes. from yes. the top. Yes. I see this every yes. day. Amen. And then you have those men and women of God that stand guard. Amen. And put the perimeter around Amen. so Satan can't come through the bottom. Yeah. So he can't send people on the top. Yes. 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 And he sends them around. Yes. Yes. Night before last, I was outside just walking around at night looking at the stars yes. and God's yes. handiwork. Yes. And looked across the street, just put my hand on the fence and just gazing. And I saw the cats came back. We had a pit bull running loose out here. We had to get rid of it because he chased all the cats away. Night before last, I said, Wow. The cats are back. Because yeah, they're cold. These cats are cold. Man. Yeah. We see them walking through here with rats in their mouths, ground squirrels, everything. I yeah. love them. I was going to get some rock wallets, but I think I might just get some cats. <laughs> 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 Amen. Amen. God bless you all. That's all I have for you right now.